Good morning. Y'all, this is a serious topic. This is serious shit right now. Promise, close my door. Stop playing. <laughs> What's that behind you? Stop playing with me. Oh my God, y'all. Close my door, please. No, what? Um, you know my that big water bottle that I got in the freezer? The water bottle or the purple thing? The big jug. Oh yeah. Can you take it out and put it in the um the sink? Okay. But close my door. Oh. Um No, just start uh, Y'all, no, it's not my room. I, listen, my kids is scared shitless, okay? I don't know what the fuck was going on, but, like, since we've been moving here, oh, it's the old houses here, South Carolina, honey, or the land, bro. Since we've been moving here, right? Like I've been hearing like these little like little scratches sometimes. And um I was thinking, you know, it's probably like film mics that's outside. They trying to get in the house. But it can't be it can't be because we have like 30 fucking cats surrounding our house because they the neighbor's cats. But it turned, it didn't, it, the scratching turned into, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking scared to even say it because like, I'm, bro, I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Y'all think somebody living here with us. Like, bro. No, it's not fucking, it's not rats, bro. I'm going to tell y'all I know it's not rats because, um, see, my father, he never had rats. But the other day, he heard, like, some scratching through his walls. But I was there with him, and I heard it. I heard it, bro. And I'm like, I'm like, Dad, that's right scratching through the wood. And I know that scratching from this scratching is not the fucking same. And like in his house, one actually came out and he caught it on a trap. Nothing came out here. Um, I don't know if somebody died here or somebody lived here. But yo, they was running through this house all last night. Blessing was sleep. Sincere was sleep. Me and Harmony was up. No, 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 no. It's no squirrels, bro. Something fell. A loud bang. Nah, it ain't no rats and mice, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out before y'all talk. It was a loud bang. Like something fell and got up and started jetting through the house. All through the kitchen, through the rooms, it stopped right here in the hallway. I don't know what the fuck that's about. But if you look at my daughter's room, right? If you look at my daughter's room on a ceiling, you can see this little thing. You could tell it's an attic there. But it's no steps you could pull down and shit like that. So... I go outside because I wanted to see how it looked on the outside. And it's a window up there. Feel me? Y'all. 
it wasn't empty long because I still get mail from the last from the last um old nigga. It was the old nigga and his girl. That's who was living here when I came here, but they didn't tell me nothing crazy. But yo, something be running through the house. And it only happens at nighttime when we sleep. Something is running through the house. But when I'm telling when listen, y'all, when I'm saying running. I'm talking about loud running. I'm not talking about no regular, like, us running, like, adults run. I don't know what the fuck it is, bro, but it, it be banging. Whatever it is, be banging hard, and then it just start running. And then I be trying to keep up with it. Like, where the fuck did it go? What? Bro, I'm waiting until it turn a little bit, you know, like, 12, because I'm going to the neighbor's house with the cats, and I'm going to ask her. What the fuck going on with this house? Because she got to know. Can a person climb up from the ground? Come on, don't scare me now. No. It don't sound like it's underneath. I don't, I don't know. I feel like somebody living here with us. We called the sound that night. That's smart as hell. No, I haven't been smoking no weed, none. But um, my daughter, like Harmony, she's scared shitless. Like, she was up crying and all of that. And I'm like, what's wrong? And she like, you know, I've been hearing banging and running all night, all night. And I'm like, banging and running? You ain't been, been hearing scratching? Nobody, no, nothing scratching? Because normally I be hearing, like, some scratching. But the scratching don't be like a, ma a rat or a mouse trying to dig into the wall or anything. It be them scratches like you hear in the movies that be like, eh. And like that's how the scratching be sounding, bro. But Harmony, she's so scared she got up under promise. They didn't go to bed till six in the morning because we was all up all night trying to figure out what was running through the house. Like something was literally running. And I feel like somebody either live up there. I feel like somebody live up there or something, bro. Like, what if they live in the attic and then when we leave, they come down here to get whatever they want and go back? That's what I'm... Baby. Yeah, Harmony was up crying all night. And everybody heard it. We have an attic, but we can't pull it down. We can only, like, take a broomstick and push it up. I don't have that door in my bathroom in this house where the girl climbed under the house. We don't have that in this house. Do not, I repeat, do not fuck around with that. Don't record, just be straight to the point and tell it to leave. I don't know. It's like, okay, I can't explain it. It's like, the sound echoes. Like when a person run, I'm not even gonna say person. Whatever runs, we can hear it bouncing off the, all the walls in the house. Like the running is loud, bro. This person gotta be at least four or five hundred pounds. Whatever it was, it fell. Whoever, whatever, a man, or what I don't know what it was, but it fell last night. It fell. It sounded like it rolled off the bed. 
It came from Sasea's room, bro. It sounded like it rolled off the bed, fell, got up, and ran through the hallway into the girl's room. And then Harmony, that's when she jumped up. She started screaming, Mommy! I'm like, what the fuck going on? Mind you, I was, I was damn near asleep because I'm like, I had just came from the gym at 7. I was like, uh, uh, I'm going to bed. But I heard somebody running so loud. And I'm like, can't stop fucking running. And they in the room crying like, mommy, that's not us. We don't know what that is. And I'm like, so bless it not up. They like, mommy, it's not us. Whatever it is, is in the walls. I'm like, yo, what we going to do? I'm scared. Yo, I'm scared. No, I didn't ask the previous tenants that because I didn't know. I didn't know. Since you say your neighbors has a lot of cats, maybe one inside. This is reoccurring. This happens every night. See, the other night, I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to lie. The other night, I was sitting in the bath, right? It was like three nights ago. I'm sitting in the bath. And I told the kids, I said, yo, go to bed because it was their bedtime. You know, on school nights, their bedtime is 830. You know what I'm saying? So, 830 came. I'm sitting in the bath. So, the kids were talking up for a while. But then... I started hearing some banging on the bathroom thing, like boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, yo, kids, go to sleep. Why the fuck y'all banging? I don't hear no reply. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, bruh, stop fucking banging. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, stop playing. I keep hearing it. Boom, boom, boom. Then it starts to scratch and the long scratches. Eh, eh. So I'm like, yo, kids. I just started screaming at the top of my lungs. None of the kids replied. I said, okay. I said, all right, something going on. I grabbed my towel so fast, jumped out the bath, ran in the kids' room. They all were asleep. I'm looking at the fucking bathroom walls like, what the fuck is going on? But I never told the kids because they were asleep. So I didn't want to scare them. Like, yo, I heard something banging last night when I was in. So I was just like, nah, I must have been tripping. But last night, when that shit started running through the crib, bro. Bro. It's every night. Yes, I've been hiding this because I've been trying not to scare myself. I've been trying not to scare myself. Take pancakes. That's what I was telling Promise. I said, yo, you want to take pancakes? I had that me and living in her attic with somebody living up there. She was like, so mommy, so you telling me they run it all around the attic then? Like, that don't make sense. And I'm just like, I, I don't know, man. She's like, so they banging on the walls from the attic? I'm like, I don't know. Nah, this is not this yo, this ain't animals, yo. Whatever was running was big and fat as fuck, my nigga. Firecracker crack, fire better get her ass out the attic. Nah, she too skinny. What we heard was like a big bitch running through the crib, knocking shit over. Is it knocking? 
Is it knocking in the pattern? Because the animal... Bro, that shit is just banging. It's like wherever you at, wherever I... Okay, wherever we go in this silence... It will start the banging. It's like, it don't want you to get peace, whatever the fuck it is. Like, I told you, I was sitting up in that bath, quiet, by myself, listening to my little phone. And I started hearing, like, boom, boom, boom. I'm thinking, it sounded like the cops was knocking on the door, feel me? I'm here, boom, boom, boom. So, I said, I started, you know black people, we start listening, right? Because I'm thinking, should I run out the house? So I'm I cut the water off. I said, water off, phone off, listen. I'm listening. That shit was like boom, 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 boom. Bitch, get the fuck out. Boop, boop, boop. I'm like, they want smoke? Who is that? I'm like, I'm scared, y'all. That Spongebob, it sounded like her big ass. Whatever it was. Promise, come here! Have you followed the sound? It's running all through the house. Um, last night, when that person fell in your room, we ain't even gonna say person. Whatever fell in your room, how loud was? It wasn't like that loud. Well, it was probably going to be louder if I was up. But, like, since I was asleep, it was kind of muffled. Like, tell you was asleep, right? Promise. Was, tell Promise, come in. Yo, Promise, Promise. It'll be an animal before it goes. Yes. Okay. Hang on. Yes. So, do you all do you hear these sounds every night? Mm -hmm. Most of the nights, most of the nights that like come a little closer to the kid. Okay, so most of the nights I be sleep, like I be the first one to sleep. So Harmony be always like the one up. So she be the one hearing all the stuff, and she be the one scared by herself at night. But this is the first night that I like. Like, this is the first night I heard running because I always hear running, but I always think it's one of you. You always so, hear running. Yes, I always hear running. So I, I don't always hear running. I always hear running. So I just go back to school. I be hearing me like scratching and banging. I hear I hear running. Like someone's like running through the kitchen and stuff like that. And I'll be like, okay. So I just go back to sleep. Like I really don't be caring. And I wake up and it's the first night that I actually was like, oh my God, there's probably something going on. Hold on. How long has this been happening? Like, I think it was like the first day that it, was it the first day that I had these braids in? I think it was like Christmas break. Yeah, somewhere near. Somewhere Christmas near, break, it yeah, started? So, yeah, somewhere near Christmas break, it happened. After we put the beds up or before? After. So when we was all sleeping on the blow beds on the floor, that was, that was, you ain't hear wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I didn't. You ever heard it when, when. I'm going to just call Omar. You ever heard of when Omar was here? Like, mm -hmm. remember the couple nights he spent the night? Have you ever heard it? Nope. I never That's heard what I'm before. saying. When that nigga be here, when he used to be here, I never heard no bangings or nothing like that. You hear what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck this is, is scared of a man's presence. Mm -hmm. I need to tell my dad to move in. Bro. Come here. So, because me, me and the live need to get some context. Because, y'all, I'm telling you, I went to sleep. I'm tired of hearing this shit every night. I'm tired of scaring myself. Yeah. So, I go to sleep. I, I be know. trying to be the first. I'm not going to lie. I be trying to go to sleep fast. Because I be scared. I be like, I don't want to drive myself crazy. And I don't want the house to drive me crazy like the movies. So, I try to go to sleep. Because my sleep is peaceful. <sighs> Sleep. I don't even think about it. I'm really like, oh, that's mom. Go to sleep. What time does it happen? Like, uh, I don't even be checking the time, but I know it'd be somewhere around like 
2 a.m., like 3 a.m. Because that's most of the time that I'll be waking up. Like, specifically, that's the times that I'll be waking up for some reason. I was like, about 2 or 3. Remember that night that I told, I kept telling y'all I go to sleep? Mm-hmm. And then I was sitting in the bath. Mm-hmm. I started, started banging on the walls. And then I started screaming, like, kids, go to sleep. Stop playing. But it kept banging louder. I thought y'all was up. So I got up and y'all was dead sleep. I was scared. I didn't even finish my bath. Um, definitely check that because I thought the death was on in there. 3 a.m., which an hour is. Okay, we need to ex- okay, explain, explain to them what happened last night in okay. your version. Okay. Because I'm telling the scary bitch, ver- I mean, okay. the scary person version. You mm-hmm. explain it in your way. So you were so, asleep first. Yeah, it was. Like, Y'all listen, okay? So I went to around like. 12. I was tired and Blessing was kept yelling, doing too much. So I was like, okay, I might just go to sleep. So I woke up in the middle of the night and then Harmony was like laying down, finna go to sleep. So I was like, okay. And I remember I kept waking up because I kept seeing her get up and do stuff. Like, but she stopped at the door. Like, she didn't go nowhere out the door. She was just like standing in front of the door and I used to be like, what you mean? Who? Like, what? Harmony, like, I woke up multiple times when Harmony was just standing at the door. She's probably finna go. Fuck her, you mean? She was just, like, standing there, like, looking like no, a ghost? No, not looking at me, but she was looking, like, outside. Like she. Okay, was, so she was standing at y'all. Harm- okay, so Harmony, you woke up 3 in the morning. Okay, y'all, so wait, hold on. Just listen. Just listen to what she's saying, okay? Listen. So you woke up 3 in the morning. Mm-hmm. You was in your room. Mm-hmm. Harmony was where? Harmony was like standing by the door. Harmony was standing in the doorway of y'all room door. Yeah, she didn't go anywhere else but there. Okay, then what? So then after that, I went back to sleep. And that's when I woke up. And Harmony was like sitting on the bed, like the edge of the bed. She was like, um, promise wake up. I just heard something. I think there's something, like, I think there's someone under the house or something. I think it's the cats. I'm like, what? So I soon as she said that finished her sentence, all I heard was a loud bang, like someone fell. And then someone was running in the hallway. And I knew it was coming from Cecilia's room because it was echoing. That sounded like some drop. So I was like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. She said, wake up because she thought it was the, she think it's the yeah, cat. she think it's the cat. That's what she thought it was. I was like, do you think a cat can bang that loud? So then, after she said she thought it was the cat, which room did the loud bang come from? It came from Cecilia's room. Did it sound like cats? Mm-mm. How loud was the bang? Yeah. Like, okay. Imagine like, okay, let me not say that. But imagine like Cecilia's room floor like shaking. Like a grown man falling on the floor. That was how that loud that was. So loud like boom. Yeah. Because like Cecilia said he heard it through his sleep, but it was muffled. He so he didn't, did, he said he didn't hear it. It wasn't loud in his sleep. It was kind of muffled because he was asleep. But okay, so you heard, you heard it too? Mm-hmm. The boom. And then what? The was like, see, look. I'm like, you been hearing that all night? Like, you acting like talking about some see, look. Like, she been I hearing like, the running all night? She probably been hearing it all okay, night. Okay, so then what? Then what? Then what? So then after that, I was like, oh, my God. Who was that? I started looking at the whole thing. I was waiting for someone to come out. Ain't nobody came out. And plus, it was kind of dark. So I was like, oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm not doing that right now. So I was just going to go back to sleep. But Harmony looked mad scared. So I was like, Harmony, just come on my bed. So she was like, oh, I'm not sleeping over there because there's a vent over there. I'm like, girl, it's not like a cat. I'm jump off the vent and get you. So she slept over there. And she she was like, we was laying down. She kept breathing mad hard. Like, I knew she was scared because I felt her heart beating on my chest. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, this girl's really that scared. She's like, <sighs> I'm like, bro, honey, you doing too much. So I was like, do you just want to watch a movie? How many be stays up? How many be up all night on yeah, the weekends really watching did. her computer? And so she would be the one to hear it. We all be dozing off on her. Yep. That because I doze off. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I doze off. I'm like I can't hear this no more. I can't do this. Like I hear it every night, and I I don't be wanting to scare y'all, so I I don't be saying nothing. I just go back to see y'all. I just act like it's normal. So you just went to sleep after that. Yeah, I just, you I wasn't scared. No, I watched my laptop, so I didn't went back to sleep. So why didn't nobody wake me back up? Like, girl. I so y'all just let the man stay in the same room? Look, I don't know. I just wasn't, I just didn't feel like, I don't know, I didn't feel like it was that serious. Well, it was serious, but like. You heard a bang, like something fell, then got up and started running. And it didn't sound like cats. So what do you mean that's nothing serious? 
I don't know. I was probably waiting for someone to come in and was like, So when they was like, running, you thought what? Since it was running to the bathroom? Yeah. Since it was asleep. So, hold on. So, when it ran to the hallway, what happened then? I was like, is that mom? Is that Cecilia? I was like, no. They're asleep. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyway. What happened to the the thing running? The thing running, it just stopped. Well, did it stop? Did it stop? Oh, yeah. After that, like I said, I heard scratching after that. My homie was like, it's coming from underneath my bed. I'm like, how? There's a vent over there. It's probably coming from over there. There's no vent under her bed, though. Yeah, there's no vent under her bed. There's only vent under her bed. So, did it sound like it was coming from up? Or did it sound like it was coming from, like, where we at? Like, in inside our house? Or, like, up in the attic? Or the basement? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Because I feel like it someone fell off the roof. Like, fell, like... If, so, if it was, like, a lot of on top of the I feel like all y'all would have, have woke up. Because it would have been like really So you're saying a loud bang was inside our house? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because it really sounded like someone got up and started running. I really thought it sounded like real human footsteps. Real human running. I was like, oh my God. What you mean? Like when you be walking to the bathroom, that's what it sounded like, but faster. Like that's what it sounded like. Because I was like, oh, mom probably So somebody that's thing. fat? That's what no, you're trying to... I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, you know, when you walk to the bathroom in the hallway, that's what I be hearing. Like that's... Kind of what I heard, but plus it was very loud and it was way faster. So, loud and fast, yeah. Like, the first steps were loud and fast. Like, so, like, someone was like banging on the floor with each step. I was like, oh my god, big foot. Do it, do it. Let me, let me hear it. It was like, it was like something like, listen, y'all. Like, like, wait, wait, wait. Do Uh, all right, hold on. (laughs) Go over there, do the bang you heard from Cecilia's room, and then do the running that you heard. I want to hear the loudness. I, I need to hear the loudness. So it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, but it was like running. I was like, how is they running with them big feet? Like, what? Uh-uh. Do, do the running with the loudness. <laughs> okay. It was that loud? And then it just stopped in the hallway. When it seen y'all, I mean, when y'all was there, I'm, I'm not, cause I don't know what to call this. Baby, turn that song off. I can't breathe. Okay. All right. So normally. You hear this in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. No, only the kitchen. Yeah, only the kitchen. Only time. But this time it was in Cesare's room. Yeah. <sighs> Most of us had it in the end, like the the hallway or the kitchen. That's the most time around here. Yeah, you got my heart. Yo, I'm not that scared. What I'm, you mean? I would go back to sleep. Like somebody probably stand in the corner. I'd be like, go back to sleep. <laughs> Listen. And I'm scared, but like, I'd rather go to sleep and just stay in and watch it the whole night, like Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say, how would you run it with the big. Was it like the running man or the cabbage pad? Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Somebody say, get out. Hold on. Everyone should sleep in one room. Yo, what? Oh my god. Harmony's still young. She can see what we can't. She probably could. That's why she. That's why she was fucking standing in the. That's why I'm yes. saying you freaked me out when you said you woke up three in the morning and she was just standing in the doorway. That's why I was like. Standing there, like, please come on, come on, girl, lay down. But I don't even think anything like, oh, she possessed, oh, she looking at someone. I'm just like, oh, she's trying to go to the bathroom, but she's scared. Just like blessing, starts my back to sleep. That's why you think blessing be scared at night. Yes. Even when I leave scared. the door, even when I leave the light on in the hallway, she still be scared. Definitely. That's why you think, cause she she know she see. And then remember the other day, what did she say? She said something about a man. Exactly. What she said? Cause yeah. I thought I, I I 
said, blessed ain't nobody, man. Shut up. <laughs> now, let, let's rewind. What did Blessed say the other night, for real? Um, she said she's scared because so something. This was when I was, wait, wasn't this when Blessed was here? When I was sleeping on that, like, that side, where the attic was. Yeah. Place. She was like, there's someone in the attic. No, 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 I don't want to sleep over there. I'm like. Girl, yeah, Blessing was scared to sleep because the way... You all remember how, how her bed was in the vlog and her, the attic is right above the bed thing. And Blessing was sleeping over there. And she had to pee. She had to sleep in the back. So I was like, you had to sleep. And she had to pee one night and she was screaming. And I'm like, what the fuck is she screaming? And I'm she like, no, no, no. I'm scared. No, no, no. She said she said something about a man. What was it again? Yeah, she was like, oh, a man, he had green eyes under the bed. I'm like... She kept saying green eyes, green eyes. Like, what do you see? A man with green eyes. That's what she kept on saying every single time. Like, what do you see? Green eyes? I don't see no green eyes. Blessed not tripping. <laughs> she might not be. I feel like Harmony, Harmony got it the worst. Because she be up and she be hearing all this stuff. She probably be seeing stuff too. I don't know if she be doing. Was the door open or closed? Door, we always leave our door We open. always leave all these doors open. Um, see, I, I used to close my door so because I like my room pitch dark when I sleep. I put the black, that's why I got the blackout curtains. I like pitch dark. I don't like to see nothing when I'm asleep. I just want to see my brain. I just want to go to sleep. But since blessing was you so scared at night, I leave it wide open now and I leave the hallway light on so, you know, I can hear everything and help her when she got to be and stuff. Even with all the lights on, I'm like, wow. She only does stuff when we're there with her. Like, she don't like stay in the kitchen by herself. She don't like doing that. They got a nightlight. That's the thing. Once y'all set it, I plugged one in. I'm like, okay. The church people. Why are you toxic? Why do you want to get blocked, you dumbass bitch? Suck my dick. Yeah, I'm not playing with no trolls, bitch. I'm dead ass scared. You talking about toxic. Why your mother don't love you, bitch? I understand the fear how many feels because I used to be the one awake in my house hearing all the noises. See, that would be really, really scary, but I don't sleep. This sounds like high water pressure if the house is old. You'll hear it from virtually anywhere in the house. What if there's someone's living in the attic? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for my dad to come over here. I'm not even playing. Blessing the house isn't going to help. Trust me, I know. She said the house ain't going to help? I'm pregnant, charisma. Oh, congrats. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not tripping, baby. I'm not tripping. But like I said, the only we, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm only saying this because. No, I'm not going to send my dad up there. Well, my dad is a daredevil. He he likes to do stuff and check stuff. So, I'm going to be like, Dad, just go check. Like, go see what's up. But I'm telling you, whatever kind of spirit, I feel like it's some kind of spirit shit because, like I said, that scratching on the wall, we would have been seeing rats or mice, bro. We would have been seeing them. I, I lived in a house before. I heard this, some scratching. Then I seen a rat, the, I mean, the mice and all that in the old, old house. They would have been out already. We've been here too long. They smell food. They would have been out. I feel like there's some type of spirit. And the only reason why I'm saying this, because we only hear this when it's us in this house. But I'm telling you. And I know y'all might think I'm I'm tripping, but I heard this shit every single night since I've been here. But the only thing 
I'm gonna say, I think, I think Omar has spent the night here at least four times. That's it. After that, we was, it was over for him. I said, nigga, go, go, go out, get out. But four nights before we officially just broke up, we was like, fuck it. Four nights he was here for them four nights. I swear to God, I did not hear it. I swear to God. I didn't hear the banging. I didn't hear the scratching. I didn't hear the running. I didn't hear the shit falling over. I didn't hear that. That night when my dad was here all night putting to say things together. Remember, I went to sleep. We all went to sleep, left him up. Niggas did not hear that when my dad was here. When he stayed here, we didn't hear that. That shit is scared of men, whatever it is. Probably. Because I don't hear it when men... I feel like they do it when they think that we're asleep. Because, like, we all be laying down, lights be off. Like, we, most of the time, we all be asleep. I feel like, oh, it goes at night time when we all think that we were asleep. But Harmony be up, so she be hearing it. I heard it one day. I heard it one time in the daytime when y'all was at school. And I was running back and forth trying to figure out what it was. Because I'm like, what the fuck is that? I was running like, yo, what's in my house? But Blessing kept laughing at me. I'm like, yo, Blessing, it's 12 p.m., it can't be no ghost here at 12. So I'm running back and forth to the kitchen, to, to y'all room. And I'm not seeing nothing. And then remember that day when Harmony was like, oh, I feel like I hear something knocking on the windows. I don't want to sleep by the windows. That's why I changed her bed. Because she said, I don't want to sleep by the windows because I feel like I hear something knocking. Mm -hmm. Nigga, they was knocking on the walls the whole time. Bruh. Yeah, I was scared. No, because Harmony, Harmony, the good, like, she's a scary one. Like, she would go check the window every five seconds to see what the neighbor's doing. She's like, oh my God, the light on, the light on. I'm like, why do you keep checking out the window every five minutes, Harmony? You have to, like, something's going to pop up as soon as somehow she's like, oh, I just want to walk past the window. I'm like, oh my God. Now, if you hearing the little grass moving out the window, yeah, that that's the cat. The cats, you you see how the cats be back there, or whatever. Yeah, but ain't no cat knocking shit over and running like Bigfoot. So the little walking through on the grass outside on the leaves, I hear that. Yeah, that's be the damn cats. Cause I go look at my window and the cats start running. You feel me? But at the same time. Cats not that heavy to be running like Bigfoot. And they don't make the walls echo when they knock. Whatever that be banging, be the whole walls be echoing in here. I don't like this for us. I, mm -mm. I don't like it for Harmony. I feel bad for Harmony because I told y'all I would tell her to go to sleep. But she probably going to be too paranoid to go to sleep. Calling the police every, every night, that's horrible advice. Ghost Brothers. Yeah, like if it was a cat, we would have known. You know, these like people telling you to burn stuff. That shit can backfire on you. How long was your house empty? It's, baby, I don't know. That's the whole damn... Please remix the cuss words in the chat. Yeah, because YouTube be, um, YouTube be hiding y'all messages from the chat when y'all do curses. So put, if you're going to put ass, I guess put A S S S S. <laughs> oh, 
it's not your house, whatever it is that's drawn to your baby girl, you need to ask her about some of the things she's seeing here. But I feel like it is the house too, because when baby girl was at school, the joint was happening. Sound like you got raccoons or possums up there tussling. Could be the land. Remember I told y'all that across across from me, the house, the lights stay on. The porch lights stay on. They never take out trash. They call was parked in the same spot. A tree actually fell on it the other day, right? I never seen the presence in there. I never seen nobody come out of there. Some of the windows boarded, but every now and again, we see one of the lights come on. And it's right across from the girl's window, feel me? The other day we came out, the car and the tree, the tree is gone and the car is up more. That same porch light is on and a trash bin in the same spot. Where's the people? There's something with this this block. It could be the land. I don't know. I know it'd be coyotes in the backyard at nighttime, but they not in the goddamn house. Could just be people who don't leave their house. But they don't throw out trash either. Like, the trash people come, they don't... Like, I don't know. And that's crazy because this morning, me and Promise went out there and we went around the whole house and we was looking for little crawl spaces or something. I'm like, bro, I'm not finding nothing. But then something just said, look up. And I looked up and I seen a window to the attic and I'm like, when the fuck did that get closed? I was like, yo, bro. What the police go do about a spirit? I don't know if it's a spirit or a real person, bro. I can't do that. Go outside, show us. I can't go outside and show show y'all because the color of my house on the outside is a very particular color and if i was to put the color of the outside of my house on here then i feel like a lot of people would know where i live by the color of my house but just know my house stands out from every house on the block it's bright so if i show you that's why i never try to record on the outside of the house because y'all gonna see the house color and be like who the hell live in a house this color this is really different it's not many houses in Spartanburg this color. Yes, people be running, girl. Loud, too. But it's like... It's like, okay, so like, for example, I heard it one time running in the kitchen, right? So I ran to the kitchen. And it's like when a, when, when a, a human like me, a real human, comes and see what's going on, it's like it stops in its footsteps or something. Just because I don't mean what I'm agreeing doesn't mean I'm gonna say. Yo, I can't believe this, bro. I, yo. It's 
it's literally no way you can go in the attic, yo. Let me let me show y'all the little shit that I'm talking about. Cause y'all gonna be like, Carissa, can't nobody fit up there but a child. So this the hallway, wherever the thing ran from Cesar room and it stopped here in this hallway. This the little attic thing. This. Do you see how small this is? It don't, I can't even pull a ladder down. I can't climb up there. I'm too fat. You can only poke your head in. I'm not poking my head in there, bro. I'm not putting a broom to there. That shit is little as hell, bro. And then they closet, the inside of this closet, bro. Y'all remember, if y'all go back to my first video, if y'all go back to my second video on my vlog channel, and I was vlogging for y'all, and I did the, um, the house tour, you will see when I came in here, and it was empty, I gave y'all the house tour, this closet door was wide open, okay? I'm not tripping. This closet door... It's like, it's so cold in there. It's freezing. It's like, it's the outside or something. And it's like nails. Like, ugh. it's spooky. It's spooky. It's spooky. It's spooky. No, it don't. It lift up, but you got to, like, take a broom to lift it. I'm not doing that. I'm wasting my father again. He, 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 he like, doing stuff like that. I'm not doing that. That closet is freezing fucking cold. And in the back of the closet, I don't let the kids go in there. The back of the closet, it have, like, these nails or something. It's weird, but it's like these nails sticking. Like, I don't know. So someone can't just jump through the hole into the house and get back up with nothing. Bro, I've been, I'm, bro, I don't know. I've been staring at this shit forever because I'm trying to figure out if some, I know for a fact nobody could come down or go up. It's too small. It's too small. Where's the ladder? I can't even, like, you know how the addicts be? You pull a ladder down and you walk up. It's not giving that. It's too small. It's way too small. Yeah, that closet is freezing in that closet. I don't know what's up with that closet. Mop with Florida water. The neighbors don't, they don't never get mail or nothing. It could be another entryway. Four. 
know. And I um I feel like it's a little entry in that closet, but I'm scared to look. I'm scared. Damn, I should have stayed with the roaches. I should have stayed with the fucking roaches. Because now I'm pussy as hell, bro. I'm mad pussy, bro. I'm mad pussy. I'm mad pussy, bro. Carolina, my... <laughs> I'd rather do a roach as it goes. <coughs> hey. It's probably that water shit. No, no, ghosts or roaches? I'll take ghosts. Uh uh. My lease is to November 30th of this year. Where my other phone? I'm about to search this fucking house up. Smudging room. Okay, I can't be scared because I'm going to fuck up whatever is in here. I'm going to beat the shit out of whatever is in here. Not playing. History on this house. Child, I think somebody living in, in my house with us. History of house phone. I'm scared of even, my, my heart is beating. Yeah, I'm scared. Girl, curse this girl. Baby, I think somebody living in our house, or uh, I don't know. But my daughter, Harmony, she she sleep because she literally just went to sleep twenty minutes before I went live. Twenty minutes before I went live, she was up all night scared. What do your kids think it was? Um, at first, they thought it was the cats. They thought it was the cats playing around, and somehow they got into the house. But then once we started hearing the banging sounds, they ain't think that no more. As you call it, they call whatever it is Bigfoot. 
whatever's running through the crib, they call it Bigfoot. Good morning, boo. How do I search it up? Because it's, it's trying to tell show me, like, who owned the house, where the deeds at. I don't want to see that. Did someone die in my house? Like, I want to get to business. Like, stop playing with me, Google. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like when um Promise was playing with the the lady Benaya. Let's talk about it. When we was when when we was living in Staten Island, um we was living in that house over there, and me and my mother we used to look, and me and my mother used to look at Promise. She, she was she used to play with her toys, but she used to argue with the wall. Like stop playing, Benaya. I said stop playing, Benaya. What are you doing? And we like, what this girl talking about? Who the hell is Benaya? So my mother, one day she was like, Charisma, there's something going on. Because your daughter, she's talking to somebody. And it's getting scary now. She, it's been going on for months. So I'm like, I wasn't really paying attention. Because I'm like, she's a child. You know, some kids have imaginary friends. I had an imaginary friend. You know? So I'm like, nah, nothing going on. But something said, look up. Who Benaya is. Y'all, I looked up Benaya and I put the um the street I was living on. Why a few houses down, a lady named Benaya died in a house. At, shortly after that, we moved. We left there. Because I'm like, why is my daughter... That's what I'm saying. Kids can see it. Kids can sense it. Kids play with it. But I don't know if, it's, if this is evil or this is good. I don't. I don't know. But I know that Benaya was um Benaya was was like a good, you know. Yeah, and see back then Promise would always be playing with her toys with the lady Benaya or whatever. But then once once like, she got a little older. I asked her, like, you don't remember Benaya? And she was like, who's that? Like, when she got, like, seven, she like, who's that? And I was like, damn, so you don't remember the, the, the girl you used to play with? And she was like, no. And I'm like, okay, maybe she a little older, so she can't. So far, alcohol calls a sonic boom. You be knowing. Okay, that's. See, it, it shows. See, all it shows is a damn real estate thing. Yeah, it don't show. I'm so promise to because now science experiments. <laughs> Look up your street thing. Yeah. See, I guess it was easier for me to find this that not only because I knew the lady name because Promise was 
talking to the person, but I don't know whoever this person name is. Um, my street, okay. History. On. Why are you listening to Spanish music? Pause it real quick. Pause it. Do you be? Come here. Let me talk to you. Today on the Charisma Side, Miss What year was the house built? Um, I think it said. Damn, what did it just say? Four. Okay, let me look at that. I swear to God, every single picture online of the house, it has this door open in my girl's room. Wide the fuck open. I'm not tripping, bro. Every picture, even when I moved in here, that door be wide open. What door open? What door open? They be tripping. I can only do it in the house. What's coming? No, that's not promise. That's blessing. Blessing, come here. Yeah. Get him on. No, I'm not gonna scare them. Come here. Yo, so who who be in the house at night? You think it'd be a ghost? You be seeing it, Blessing? Where it be at? It could be in the kitchen. It be in the kitchen? It could be in the attic. In the attic? How it look? Is it a man or a woman? It's just, it's a man. It's a man? Mm-hmm. How he look? He, he has green eyes. He got green eyes? Uh-huh. He live here? Uh-uh. He don't? Is he nice or is he mean? He's just, he's just mean. Mean? Yes. Do he, do he be here with us? Uh, yeah. What, what he be saying? He say he say he's going to sleep in the attic. He said he going to sleep in the attic? Mm-hmm. When the last time you saw him? Two, two times. You seen him two times? Mm-hmm. So he be saying hi? But I thought he was mean. Okay. I just turned down. I just see her. I see him. But you see him? Mm-hmm. You scared of him? Yes. <laughs> he, he fat or he skinny? He's skinny. He's skinny? Uh-huh. What color is he? Black shirt? Uh-huh. Okay. He going right now? Huh? Is he going right now? Yeah. 
Okay. Do you know when, what time he coming back? Do you know when he coming back? Yes. When? He coming back again. Come back again. What day? The day is to hide the stairs. To scare Harmony? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. She not scared, y'all. She's smiling and everything. Yeah, because when I first when I came to view the house and stuff, the neighbor told me to watch out because she was like, "No, she came out the house. She was like, what's going on?" I'm like, "Oh, we coming to view the house or whatever." She like, "Oh, all right. Oh, I'm just making sure because yeah, some people be trying to go over there." And I'm like, "What you mean? Like, it's literally a couple in here right now, like." She like, yeah, people be trying to go in there. Like, they think it's vacant. They be trying to live there. And I be like, damn. Mm. Ask if he black or white. Then we can look up the owner names too. Yeah, I can look up the owner names too. Yeah. And whoever commented that is dumb as fuck. What 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 reason would I have to cap? So you really think I set up all night and made up a whole story? Yo, we gonna go live and we gonna tell the beauties that it's a ghost in here and we gonna... No, I really went live because I'm really trying to figure out what the fuck going on. And like, I'm telling y'all, I wasn't tripping the other night when Blessing was scared. Remember I told y'all, she peed on me. In the in the vlog video, I told y'all, she peed on me. She was scared to get up to use the bathroom. She said it was a man with green eyes. And I was like, ain't no goddamn man with green eyes. Like, you're tripping. You just keep peeing on me. Like, I'm not tripping. So I'm like, okay... She's only three. Maybe she's tripping right now. But the fact that all them days later, that was weeks ago. All these weeks later, and I asked her how the man looked, and she told me, oh, he's still he's a man with green eyes. I said, is he a man or a woman? He's a man with green eyes. I didn't direct her to the green eyes shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't get on here and lie about no dumb shit like that, bitch. I'm genuinely scared. Dead ass. I was wondering what made her afraid. I knew. I knew it was something. As well as when those doors open and safe. Omar is pussy. He not, mm mm. He not coming. He gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna I'm sit here with the kids. You go up there. No. No. I'm gonna tell my dad. Because my dad, my dad is a daredevil. I don't have a camera system in the house. I'm scared to get one. I heard some years ago, remember that the um the people was watching people through the cameras in their house? They was hacking in, watching them.
So the nigga come in the scare harmony. That's some shit. Is Treese is Treese in here? Treese is T R I C E. If Treese is in here, whatever, whatever. Listen, Treese is an OG beauty. She started for me from day one. Feel me? You see Treese in here? Don't put her in time out. Nothing. Let her have her little opinion. Not too much on my girl Treese though. And, but it's so messed up. I I really feel like it don't seem like a bad energy to me though because I'm so at peace here. Like genuinely, I'm at peace. I right, karma. See, I ain't see, I ain't see all that, cause I was talking. But she's my girl, though. She my girl. But chat, we gonna be nice to everybody. Let everybody have their own little opinions. But if you troll, it's over. I'm not playing with you. Check the comments. Yo, bless it. What is your issue? That's the thing. I don't feel bad energy, y'all. I... Who the one trolling? Wait, what the hell is everybody talking about? But yeah, I don't... um. Damn. Shouldn't be. She said the chat is upset because she's telling, she's saying don't burn um sage. Damn, that shit going away too fast for my screen. All y'all have um different opinions. I respect each person's opinion. And y'all was in here tussling in the comments. I would not know that. I was too scared in my feelings. Probably looking up, talking to one of the kids. or. But I don't want y'all tussling in the comments. But I know. Yo, what's wrong? What's wrong, Blessing? Uh, oh, I was, um, Blessing had a friend named Aki that she used to talk to. And I'm like, who the fuck is Aki? But she don't say it no more. She don't play with Aki no more how she used to. Right? Tussling in the comments with the bonnets on. <laughs> Burning weed. No, I don't... Damn, I couldn't sleep and had crazy nightmares. Hold on, is it early enough? I want to go knock on a neighbor's door for real. I want to take y'all with me. So, ah, 
so y'all can hear whatever explanation this bitch got. Cause I, I want, I want, I want y'all to be a witness. Wait, let me put on some um pants. Hold on, let me put y'all there. Cause ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way. That lady gotta know something going on. There's no fucking way. I need to know. Give me some history, lady. Tell me something. I know. Tell me something. It's 1021. I've been waiting since 8 to go over there. <laughs> but I had a good sleep. I didn't feel no, um, like, bad spirits. I heard the banging and stuff, but I ignored it. Because I'm like, bro, that shit happened every time. I was so scared I couldn't even eat my damn food. Okay. They let their cats out. Not charisma playing, should I? So I'm gonna go walk to the neighbor house, but I'm gonna cover it so y'all can't see like the color of my house real quick. And then I'm gonna open it back up when I get right there. Hold on, let me. Y'all good? Yes, it's not I turned the Wi-Fi off. Why? I'm talking about on my on my thing. Mm. Tell me y'all can hear me, cause I don't want to go over there and cut off. I need to get this on camera. What the fuck? She about she finna tell me? You wanna sit down? I'm gonna put you at the chair. Okay, so I'm gonna cover y'all real quick, and then I'm put y'all in my pocket. I'm gonna walk, and then I'm gonna take y'all back out. Okay. Shut up, bitch ass. I'm a neighbor. Um, your wife here? She sleep. Um, how long y'all been living here? Do you know the history of this house? From what I understand, people's down there. It's cold as crap in the winter and hot in the summer. It's cold as crap in the winter. Um. They said the heating bill and the air bills pretty high. Okay, it's like I be hearing like. Since I lived there, I've been hearing like a bang. People been run like people. It sounds like people been running in there like at night, probably like three in the morning, and like long scratches on the wall. Really? Mm. Yeah, y'all know nothing about that. Nobody died in there. Well, it's been years and years ago before we moved here. 
as an old lady lived there, she'd lived there most of her life. And her husband, I think, was killed in the war. Mm -hmm. And she started drinking after that. And she drunk herself to death. Mm -hmm. And she died in the hole? I don't know if she died in the house or she died in the hospital. I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. Cause I know we had a problem with homeless people mm -hmm. getting up under our house. Mm -hmm. Homeless people getting under your house? What you mean, like living on? That's why at night time, cause I'd go back there sometimes and their doors goes under the house. It'd be laying like a yard. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's what it could be? Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like somebody? If they can find a place to crawl and stay warm. Cause I hear like, bang, like running. We heard like running last night, like three in the morning. And it, my my kids say it's like it sound like a Bigfoot, like a fat person, like somebody running. But then when we go see, it stops. So you know if there's any crawl spaces or anywhere. I wonder if somebody's running across the front porch. Then. Huh? I wonder if somebody because as a lady that lived there, her and her daughter, and homeless people tried to break in on her. Hmm. And she caught the police and they came out here and they stayed here until morning that night. Wait, wait, wait. You said, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. You said front porch what? Say it again, say it again. Say the front porch. Uh-huh. The, I forgot which door she said they tried to get in. And she caught the police that night and they came out here and they stayed out here the rest of the night. Because when I first, okay, when I, that's why I said, where your wife? Because when I first moved here, your wife was telling me a little stuff about the house. Made me feel a little eerie. And she was like, she kept coming out checking. She like, oh, I have to make sure because people would be trying to break in there and, and live there. So these windows up here on the top, ain't that like for an attic? Mm -hmm. But we don't have an attic thing in our house. You know? No. We have the little thing, but it's it's like a... It's too small for anybody to get in. You hear the noise from up or under that? Mm. It's more like it's inside with us. Like, whatever it is, is inside with us. Well, I tell you that possums and mm. raccoons, mm -hmm. they bad around here. Mm. They bad around here? Yeah. Would they be... I mean, you know, they get in, they get under houses and stuff. Mm. So you think they could get in, in, in the bottom? Mm-hmm. Because I've come out here at night sometimes, and I've been popping my raccoons sitting there. Mm -hmm. you, have, you ever heard something, like, fall over in your house? That's what I've been hearing, like, so getting knocked down. So you think it's just an animal? It could be. It could be or you think it's people? Raccoon. People, it's possible. Mm. <laughs> so it's possible that people mm. is getting in, because we only hear it at night. I heard it one time in the daytime, but it was real little and it went away. But See, that guy next door there, he cut our grass one summer, and he's the one that passed us if somebody had been getting under our floor. Mm -hmm. So they was crawl the people was crawling under your floor. Mm -hmm. What they don't realize, they snake under there. Mm. And then it's funny because that's what my daughter was saying. Three in the morning, she was like, I thought it was a cat scratching at the vent. Like, she thinking your cats was getting well, inside. That's possible. And I'm like, okay, even if they were scratching at the vent, cats is not that big where something would knock over and they would start get up. So they said, like, something was knocked over and then it, it sounded like somebody fell, got up and started running through the house. Cats can't do that. No, that sounds like somebody got up on their hands and knees and took off, that's what that sounds like. Mm. As if somebody was there, yeah. but knew that we was up in the house mm -hmm. and tried to leave, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's creepy. Where are you opening that? Huh? Where are you opening that goes under the house? I think it's on the, on the side right there. 
It ain't, it's no lock on it either. I don't get a lock put on it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I put, I put three chairs in front of ours to make sure if I come back or not, I know it. Mm -hmm. Another thing, do you know who live across? Mm. Nobody lived there? Man that owns it. He cleared the woods. Put the trailer there. Put that little garage down there. And it's been sitting there empty ever since. Mm. That's been about two or three years ago. Because sometimes I be seeing a light come on across from the window and I be like, who in there? I never see nobody come out. Well, so I, I thought whoever was in there came to my house. I ain't never seen anybody come out either. <laughs> Me either. That's scary. Now, every, in some time, you'll probably see a man pull up and cut grass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that thing's been sitting there for a long time. I think he's got those funny lights in there that they turn off and on. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got my heart, man. Okay. There used to be a trailer right there. But it set long ways instead of the way that and set that way. That man that lived in it, he died there. Mm. Oh my God! Do you think the land where this house is just is just haunted where I live? I what? wouldn't think so. You first one I heard them say anything about it. Because I'm scared. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it if it's happening at night. I fish probably on it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay. I just wonder if it's a raccoon or a possum or it could, the way you say it's scratching, you never know what it is. Hmm. Yeah, the scratching, I believe, is an animal. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was probably either a rat, but I'm thinking there's too many cats around, so it's probably not a rat. It's probably another animal. But the running, mm -hmm. I, I feel like that's a, a real person. Nothing running like that. I'm wondering if that could be a rat. Mm -hmm. You know rats make a loud noise when they run. Mm -hmm. But knocking stuff over. Huh? That's the part I don't understand. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's what I'm saying. Because usually we be sleep at, at night and it happens when we... Up? Yeah. Wow. Is, is, is that loud? That's what I'm saying. How could it be an animal? Or like, I feel like I feel like somebody living in there with me or something, like in the attic or something. That makes it sound like somebody is getting under that thing then. Hmm. You ain't never seen no people come back here, right? While, I, while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, I, I don't know, I, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. hmm. I think- um, That guy that lived there for a man lived there by himself. He never mentioned nothing. He stayed there a year. But it's crazy because um, when I went to view the house, it was him and a lady in there. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Like, they was moving out while they were telling me to go view it. But they never mentioned nothing, like, crazy. They were just saying that they moving out. Hmm. But they didn't give me a reason. So now what, I'm scared. What did, what did he look like? He was, like, gray hair. Little oldish. Mm, it wasn't him. Mm. It, this was a young Mexican. Guy. What you mean that wasn't him? That was a young Mexican guy. Nah, when I came to view this, it was two older people here. And it looked like they was moving stuff out. So if you saying that was a Mexican guy, then that means somebody was squatting, squatter, what, squatting, whatever in there. Oh, the people was moving that stuff out. People did try to come and. When the bed them. was on the back porch. Right. People did try to do squatting things with it. Because the day we came to, to visit. Because they put it on Facebook. Somebody did. And they was ripping people off. Mm. Wow. Because it, it stayed empty for about six or seven months. Mm. I thought that guy moved out. Ain't no way. So the trailer should... that was there that the guy died in. It was a few months after that. We come home to church one night. We walked in the house. We didn't notice nothing. I seen some red lights go down the road. And I come out here. They was flames 15 feet coming off that trailer. Hmm. I be hearing people back there, too. Well, that's Jimmy and his family. Hmm. And it's, um, it's like, boarded up. But, like, sometimes the guys go back there. I don't know what they do. Now back behind this building over here, mm -hmm. you're going to hear some stuff. 
because people come back there sometimes sit and turn the radios up, jack their jaws and stuff. Hmm. Oh my, okay. okay. Yeah, it's changed a lot since we moved here, but it's still pretty well quiet. So what you think I should do, get some cameras? You might already get you one to put under that call space. Hmm. So people was crawling under yours, living under yours. At night time. Mm -hmm. So it's a possibility they it's could be. Mm -hmm. Oh my, okay. Because that's one morning I got up. And I already got out of the shower. I put my pants on and I heard something pop. I went in the kitchen, my kitchen was full of smoke. And I asked my wife, I said, what are you burning? She says, nothing. I said, well, we got a fire somewhere then. And I had to run around there and run around the house. There wasn't nobody there. But I think they'd done something to our furnace. Oh, and my God. We had, that. we had to pay something like $5,500 to get our furnace replaced because they burnt the bottom of it. Are they coming through the back of the... Mm -hmm. Because I don't never see nobody come yeah, through this side. Through the so they coming through the back. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact that they come through the back, coming up through the woods and stuff right there. That's what I was thinking because when I first moved here, my dog was in the back at night, and your wife came to my house. She said, "Get your dog out of there. Do you know be coyotes?" I said, "What?" Yes, they are at night time. When I mean, when it starts getting dark, get them in the house. Mm -hmm. We left a little bit out here one evening. Mm-hmm. She started making the strangest bark I never heard her make before. And I come out here, and they was one climbing the fence to get her. Oh my. By the time I got back in the house, I got my gun and come back out here. It was over in that lot next door, and I couldn't, I couldn't shoot over there. Mm. Oh my God, and then I noticed my fence in that back is down too, a yeah, piece. That's where that tree fell on. Mm. That's where it. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, okay. All right, that's all I had to ask. I didn't mean to scare you or not. That's all right. <laughs> but, okay, thank you. I see you have the little trap set up here, the little chair. <laughs> well, dogs had come up on the porch and grabbed the cats and killed them. And that's why we put the chair there. Wait, it's stray dogs too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What the? Then I moved too. Yeah, that, that's why we got that like that. So they'll stay away from the cats that stay up here. They all right. But we had to put that there to keep them coming up on the porch and get them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. I'm glad to see sunshine, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to go back into the haunted house. <laughs> but you first want to say anything about something like that. <laughs> I swear. Like, I don't know. It's like we've been here since we first, when, since we first moved here. And, and when I talk about raccoons or possums, I don't mean no little ones. I mean some big ones. You mean some big ones? I've come out here. I stop my foot. If they don't move, I say, oh, boy, you wait right there. Then. <laughs> So it's either raccoon or possum or the homeless people crawling into the thing because the homeless people crawled into your thing. They probably was like, he know, so we're going to go over there now. Yeah, since I stacked the chairs up in front of the hours. Yeah, because I know for sure that when you say it was a Mexican guy, when I went, it was a white guy, and he had a wife with him, and they, they claimed they was moving their stuff out. But I don't know. The vibe seemed kind of like off, like, they wasn't supposed to be there. Like, they really didn't live there. Like, squatters type joint. That was when that, that mattress was on the back. Yeah, they came. The thing that was on the door that you could get in, mm -hmm. if you know the combination. Yeah. They had a hammer. They tried to knock it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when we came to, to um, see the house, your wife came out. She was like, hey, y'all not going to come up? I said, no, we coming to, to view the house. She was like, oh, I'm just making sure. But before we could even enter the cold, somebody opened the door for us. And they let us in. They was like, yeah, we moving on. You can come see the house. And I'm like, okay. No. So it was me and my two daughters. We went in. She didn't tell me that. It was him, one lady, and it was a bed. And then it was a bed on the porch. Now, I remember an older man and woman coming over to view the house. They were driving a truck, I think it was. Mm. Now, since that guy moved out. You're the first one moved in. Mm. Mm. But they've been a buttload of people. Been there to look at that house. Cause they was mar they was marketing it as three bedrooms, 
and it had doors on it. But then when we went, they took the doors off. It really was two bedrooms. You kidding? Yep. That's what they was marketing as three bedrooms, but it's really two. Well, I understand the people that own that. They own a lot of houses around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was nice talking to you. That's all I had to really ask. Oh, okay. No, I don't scare myself no more. <laughs> What's your advice? What y'all do? Put that bear, put that door under the house. Mm -hmm. You'll see what it is. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> you can put your chair back. <laughs> Got the safety chair. <laughs> I can't believe how good it works. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. This nigga got booby traps all on his porch, bro. All on his porch. They said this this house across from us been empty for months. But that light keep coming on. Uh-uh. Hold on. But the... <sighs> okay. Okay, hold on. I need, I need to catch my breath. That was too much information to take in. Okay. Go, go, bless him. Take that. What was y'all saying in the comments? I couldn't pay y'all no attention. Yeah, y'all said a whole lot. Let me follow that. I walked up there to the tunnel and said, I'm running away. I decided to fall in it like Edson. Okay, so. Okay, so he said that he'd been living there 20 years. He said the guy that moved out of here was a Mexican guy. He lived here by himself. Uh uh. That wasn't the couple that was here, bro. We. Oh my God. Okay. He said the homeless people in the, in the winter, they come on this street and they was crawling under his house. They was living under his house. Okay. No, I'm paying my rent to the, um, the company. Right. So he said the homeless people come in there. They would live under his house. They never knew. And so he went investigated because they we, these houses got crawl spaces. I told y'all I seen the crawl space on the side of my house. It don't have a lock on it. Okay. It um it don't have a lock on it. So he said the loud scratching noises. It could be either a rat. It could be a raccoon and a possum. But he said the loud banging and the running. That sounds like. It could be like probably homeless person, like that they got up and they started running. But oh my god, he said so much shit. I, yo, I, my heart was just like this when he was talking. Uh, somebody, a lady died years ago. He don't know if she died in the house or at the hospital. But her son, her husband was in the army. He got killed, whatever. She drunk herself to death. He don't know if she was in here. However, blessing and blessing, saying it's a man. I don't know if it's a woman. I don't even know if it's a spirit or if it's a real human or if it's a homeless person. 
He said a lot of people was coming in here, squattering in here, breaking into here, living in here when nobody looked here. They said the house was vacant for seven months, y'all. People was coming in here. I told them, I told him that the attic, um, it was so small. I don't know how it would do it. He said it's probably not in the attic. It's probably underneath. Okay. Again, we do have that crawl space. Okay. Um, that nigga scared me so bad. He scared me so bad. All right. On the other side of us, back here, where Harmony be here and knocking on the window, a guy died back there in his trailer. Okay? That's why that trailer back there is boarded up. But I be seeing guys come back there. They be back there in the daytime. When y'all at school, I hear them. Because I open, you know, I open my blinds every day. Long story short, I'm scared. Oh, my gosh. So, y'all heard everything he was saying. I'm leaving this live up because I need to go back in and, and, and hear it again. Because I can't believe it. But your daughter was talking to somebody. I believe the baby. You can go. Go. Oh, I got a gun, baby. I got a gun, baby. But that's what I'm saying. Because I'm thinking, <clears throat> okay. Because he said even the scratching probably could be his cats. It probably could be his cats. He said the scratching could be his cats. But, um, but the loud, um, the loud fall and then the get up and running. He said, no, no, no. That's, that can't be cats. That can't be cats. But he did say the possums and raccoons over in this area is really, really big. So, but for something to fall over and start running, and I described the, my kid said it sounded like Bigfoot. He's like, oh, no, I don't know. But it could be the homeless people. It could be so many things, y'all. I don't know. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very nervous. If it was a possum or a raccoon or like a rat or something, that could easily be solved with pest control. That's an easy fix. But if it's like a person, and like I said, whatever this is, when a man is around, that thing don't be running it don't be doing that it don't be the scratches don't be the running it's like if it is a homeless person they probably know oh a man is in there now we're not gonna go over there he said a woman a lady and her daughter was living here and the people the homeless people try to break in the cops came they were so scared so they went and spent the night at the neighbor house right the house been vacant for seven months but really it wasn't because when i came to visit when I came to view, a couple was in here. He said no couple lived here. It was just a man. So that couple has to be squattering. Y'all. I had a dog. I had I got rid of it. SpongeBob might be under the crawl space. <laughs> Could have been squatters or the man living there was renting out the house. Yep, squatters. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get cameras. I'm so fucking scared of what I'm going to see on these cameras. I don't know. I'm banking on. See, at first I thought it was spirits. You know? 
I'm banking on. I don't know, y'all. I feel like it. I feel like it's the homeless people because it's been raining bad these couple of days, and these last couple of days, when it was when it rained, I hear it so loud, so vibrant. Like somebody, it be it been cold out here, thirteen degrees. People trying to stay warm. My back gate is broke. And then sometimes I lock this back gate right here. Cause I got a um I got my, my my backyard gate, right? I locks the gate, like put the thing up. Some mornings I come out, my back gate be wild the fuck. But I leave it locked because I know it be coyotes back here. And then my back gate back there, because the tree fell, is broke. So whatever's coming through the woods could come straight into the backyard. So I don't want it to come in the front yard. So I locks the gate. But when I come out in the mornings, and you have to lift the gate up and lock it. So that means a, a, a real person is lifting that shit and unlocking that shit, bro. If your crawl space is small. No, the crawl space... On the outside, somebody could get in that one. But the um this little attic thing in the girls' room, nah, that's too small. That's too small. Don't lock the crawl space until you check it first. At this point, oh, I probably are there. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if if you a go, I mean, if you if you an animal, and you doing what you doing under the house or over that, wherever you doing it at, right? Why would you stop doing what you doing if a man come around? If you an animal, but if you a real human and you like this girl don't know not much about this neighborhood, I'm gonna crawl up under this house because the neighbors already know. That, you know, we was living under his house. So, I'm going to go live under her house. She ain't going to know. But when a man presence come around, it's like, no, baby, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to stay here. Because I don't know. It's weird, y'all. It's weird. Sounds like Rodic's in the attic and squatters in the crawl space. I did have a rat once and it sounded like someone was running in the attic. Then you can hear it in the walls. That's the funny part, y'all. The running... Don't sound like it's coming from the attic, bro. The running sound like it's coming from in here with us. You think if I was to call the police, the police will go inside there and check? Or they'll be like, nah, that ain't my job, bitch. Do it yourself. So I want somebody to go in there. Yo, bless her. You got an issue? We try to be the Ghostbusters and you over here tripping. Does it sound like heavy footsteps? Hell yeah. It sounds like a fat person. Thank you. Love you too, I don't know. I don't know. But like, I... 
it's daytime now. Why y'all not making a sound? Like, y'all not doing a banging? It's because y'all know we up in here. But when we, like, sleep, that's when the, whatever it is start going crazy, running. That shit be jogging through the crib, running all through the rooms and shit. But it won't come in my room. Whatever it is, it won't run in my room because they know I blow their fucking head off. Bless it. What is your issue for real, yo? If she's if a man with green eyes, what if it really was is a, a squatter living here with green eyes? Yeah, you gotta go back. I, I went to the neighbors. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they leave during the day, come back at night. Oh, this bitch sleep. It's 2 in the morning. We in there. Feel me? I don't smoke no more. Green eyes and a black t shirt on. Will she be able to tell the eye color in the dark? It was dark when she said green eyes. But why be so loud giving yourself up? What you want me to do? Whisper? Do you want me to whisper to the phone? So who gotta be loud? The the squatter? I... Yo, blessing, come here, come here. I will come to you, but if I take my phone with this charger, baby, we we gotta this evidence. So if we turn evil, y'all knew first why we turn evil. You been up since early this morning. Come take a nap. Come take a nap. Cause you you doing that unnecessary crying, boo. Come take a nap. Let, yeah, lay down. You safe. Mm-hmm. I'm saying why the squatters be allowed giving themselves up. I don't think they meant to do. I don't. If it was a squatter, if it was squatters, I don't feel like they meant to be that loud. And I don't, and I feel like they thought we were sleeping. Because I told you, I bet time 8.30 on school days, but it's the weekend. And yeah, honestly, I'm a deep sleeper. So whatever go on, like at late at night, when I'm, once I'm asleep, I don't hear it. I don't hear it, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out if it's any animal, why does animal just go away when the man come? That's, uh-uh. It ain't giving animal to me. It's too, it's too many little, nah. Mm-mm.
I know you love fucking people, but you don't have to put the beast on them. Maybe the bangs you are hearing are them hitting the ceiling, which will be the floor to your house, right? Yes! Yes! What? That's smart. I never thought of that. They might sleep during the day and be asleep at night. And if they want a tent, I got a tent on my back porch. They could be in there. Yeah, it's the run. It's the running for me. And I told y'all, my house is kind of like on a dead end. You didn't. You didn't want that before. You wanted to be crazy. Remember. You didn't want that. We cut off all of them. We cut off all of them TVs. We was quiet as a mouse in my dad's house. And we heard... To digging through the wood. They was digging through the kitchen wood. We were trying to figure out what it was in my dad's house the other day. We cut the lights off. We listened. It ate through the little kitchen thing. Came out. It was a little mini wrap, whatever, right? Cool. It don't take that long for a rat to dig through. Now, why the hell would a rat be digging through from November 30th to right now? And you still ain't in? And it's little mini holes that you can come through, rat. And rats don't got no bones. They can come through. I'm going to fuck these people up. No, for real, there ain't no rat. That rat would have been in, bro. That rat would have been in. I can show you at least 10 little holes that they that they could squeeze through in this house that I got to chalk up and seal. I can show you at least 10 little holes. Why the rat ain't in here yet? If it's a rat, baby, come out. I need to see you. I want to see you. A squatter would not make all that noise. A squatter would make that noise if they feel like we were asleep. It's like that shit be trying to scare us to leave the house, though. Like, again, when I was in the bath and that shit kept banging on the wall. And that shit waited to the kids to go to sleep, too. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, what the fuck is that? Brillo material. Yeah, they can't shoot through Brillo. Oh my God, y'all. I am so nervous, yo. I was so nervous. You can say, girl, schedule me at 3 a.m. and come live. <laughs> Y'all not going to be up 3 in the morning.
And I told y'all about where I live is a dead end. And then the back of my house, is I got a big yard. And then all the way in the back is woods with trees covering. One of the trees fell. So the gate is down a little bit back there. All the way in the back. So he said people be back there. They be The homeless people be blasting their music and all that. And this, that, and the third. But nigga, is you coming... I don't know. We can say I'll set my law right now. Is your trash can close to you? No, I don't even I don't leave trash on the outside of my house and I don't leave it on the inside of my house. I literally put my trash in a trunk, every trash bag that's full, and I'll take it to the complex some blocks over, throw it in a dumpster. I don't leave no trash around. Cause mm -mm. Hell yeah, because I know ain't no coyote opening my back gate. That back gate, you got to lift it up like it's wooden. You got to lift that shit, that shit heavy, and then connect it to the latch. So that means you have to lift that shit and come on. So you came through my back. If, okay, if it is a squatter, because I asked him, do the squatters come through the front of the street? He said, no, they come through the back of the house. So you have to lift it up. Boom. So they'll come through the right there by the woods. Come in. Lift the gate. That's why I'd be wide open. Come around and go in the crawl spot. Why the fuck would they do that? Why would they do that? I swear to God, the house across the street available. Chris, I just know that ain't just smoke detected. Bro, that shit started going off a couple days after we lived here, and I don't know how. I don't know how or why. Hell yeah, it been raining and cold out here, bro. It been 13 degrees. One morning we woke up, it was 13 degrees. That night that I was in the bath, it was literally 13 degrees. And he said that the people who move out, they don't stay here. They only live here a year, and then they move out. And the reason that they gave him was because the house is too cold in the winter and too hot in the summer. I agree. This house be cold as hell. Not the house. Just my room. Because I only got one vent. Everybody got, like, two. I think the girls got one. <clears throat> So because we heard it in Cecilia's room, that bang, should I put the, the little camera thing, should I put the little thing in his room? Like, a, I just need something. I want to record. I need to hear. I want to hear it. Like, what, what, what is you? Uh-uh. Please go live at 3 a.m. I'll be weak if that couple you met there. They were squatters. Because he just said it wasn't no couple living here. It was a Mexican man. And I said, when we came to visit, when that mattress was on the back, I went to enter the cold on the front. And they opened the door for me and told me to come in. I swear to God, me and the girls came in here. We was in here with them. So that means this wasn't your house. Y'all was squatting in here. So y'all knew somebody was going to move here, so y'all left. 
But is y'all living under the house? Did y'all come back? Let me know. I should have stayed in the apartment. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Come on, sorry, friend. We ain't gonna jump you. But did y'all come back? <laughs> yeah, he said we got raccoons in the area. We got possums in the area. And we have um, coyotes and stray dogs, he said. I never seen a stray dog, but... I know when my dog was out here, my dog was chasing fucking coyotes through the woods. And I was calling my dog, come on, Milo. That's why I had to get rid of him. Y'all notice on the vlogs, Milo ain't around. I got rid of Milo for that exact reason there. Y'all got it all straight animals and straight people. I don't know what made me want to go get a house at the goddamn dead end. <laughs> Yo, I can't, bro. I can't, bro. So who dog was barking earlier? That was the neighbor's dog. You heard what he said? He said that he, like, sometimes they leave their dog outside. He forgot to bring him in at night. And he went to look, and the coyote was climbing the gate. So he said he grabbed his pistol, ran back outside, but then the coyote ran over to the neighbor's cribs. Dad, come to my house. I was just about to call you when I got off live. Come to my house ASAP, bro. Something was running through our house. We don't know what it was. Three in the morning. Harmony is still asleep. She just went to sleep at six. She was scared. We ain't petrified. And dad, please tell him if it was a rat that was scratching and coming through, it would have been came through already. Please tell him. Because you know, dad, you know. Please tell him. I'm sending my dad to do the, the dirty work. F that. It might have you in the woods. Mm mm. Nope. Nope. Mm mm. Yeah, my old house, Wildfish Street, nine seventy five. Nobody want that house. We have an attic, but it's it's really small. I hope the coyote don't eat blessing. Why would the coyote do that? Nah, it gotta be the crawl space. It gotta be the crawl space. It's gonna eat y'all when y'all sleep. Shut up, dumbass bitch.
Yeah, them stupid ass trolls. I should tell them to come over here and figure out the issue. Yeah, we went over to the neighbor house and the neighbor said that he had a he had an issue with squatters um coming in his crawl space, the homeless people living there and stuff like that. So he was telling me that's what it might be. And then he asked me that I have a lock on my crawl space and I went and looked at it. Is no lock on there. Her name blessed for a reason. That part is going to eat y'all while y'all sleep. Got to be the most hit that shit. You could say, I swear to God. That was a troll. They seen, they seen the title that the house was haunted. And they said, let me go on here and scare her. Hell yeah, I want to know what, what rat is sitting here unlocking my back gate, lifting it up, putting it back, lifting it up. I come outside, it's wide open. I know I just locked you. I know I just locked you, boo. What's coming on? It's early in the morning. Why, why is you up? Why is you open? Right now I gotta take care of the charger. One thing baby gonna do. It's your neighbor. I hate you, Dad. It could be squirrels going through the dry of it from outside. A Spartan bird. Yep, the car moved. Now I see why the car moved because the neighbors told me that they cleared it out. They came and cleared out the woods back there, but nobody lived there for months. What did he say? Three years or three months? I don't know. But I'm, I see a light go on every now and again in there. It's weird. But go out back and check the... Uh-uh. That's for you to do. That's for you to do. It's creepy, creepy house. Oh, my God, y'all. Look, my dad always playing games. Ain't nobody playing with you, Big Bertha. Do it in the daytime. That's what I had to do. Uh-uh, no. I'm not doing that. But I know who will. Barry. Oh. and pouches. <laughs> Wait, why you tomp out my father? Hold on. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Uh-uh. 
Uh uh. Sorry, boo. Sorry, but uh uh. Ain't she the time that uh uh. Where's my other moderators? Like, where do a my where's Amani and, and 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 my other girl? Like, cause Shorty Wallen. See, now you're not a moderator no more. See, see what I'm saying? Now you're not a moderator no more. Like, everybody be in my DM. Everybody been in my DM messages popping up. Yeah, Jay. I'm going to call my dad. I, mm-mm.